Um, for folks here, uh, we've got oh, a quick challenge here about full albums. Last year, we got a challenge for each shift. We're asked for music album recommendations as to hopefully listen to said albums over the course of the week of the bus. Uh, so for folks around right now who have a full album to recommend, uh, go forth. I will steal the obvious one. And, um, oh, God, I feel like an, an absolute idiot because okay. all I know, I have listened to it so much and I don't have the specific album title in my head firm. The Rise and Fall of a Midwest Princess. Ooh, yeah. Chapel Rones 2023 release. Yep. That got bigger in 2024. Mm -hmm. It slaps. Uh, really good. Very not safe for bus. <laughs> slaps. Yep. Anyone else who has a full album, please jump in. I got two quick ones. Uh, the one that you would all expect from me, which is Brat by Charlie XCX. <laughs> uh, big change from Crash. So much more like her mixtapes. Lots of hyper pop energy. Absolutely love it. Uh, I just found out she got nominated for seven Grammys for that one. Whoa! Very good album. Uh, a non hyper pop album. Uh, the new Childish Gambino, uh, Bando Stone in the New World. The one that's kind of it's kind of a soundtrack for this movie that people are now questioning whether whether or not it exists. I'm convinced it does. Uh, but it's really really good. Uh, Lithonia, the single, is incredible. But I do warn you, if you watch the music video for Lithonia, there is a jump scare in it towards the end. Uh, but the album, fantastic start to finish. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, who else has an album? I have one, but I'm just confirming some information. Sounds good. Yeah, you're so good. I'm just going to I'm gonna be not so subtle here and uh, do... Oh, wait, Corey. Yes, sorry, I was looking down. Hi. Hey, uh, the new Lynn Manuel Miranda concept album, gender swapped version of the movie The Warriors, now a musical, The Warriors, is very, very good. Ooh. Huh. Heck hey. yeah. Thank you. Yee, yee, yee. Oh, shoot! Did it happen? You alright? Nope. Oh, no. Fart no. butt! Oh. 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 No, it's okay. Made. That's fine. I just missed the stop. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, I need to be uh, chastised. <laughs> <laughs> You're reacting to very different things. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh my god! I so thought much it was frozen hey. or something. I got god. Back in the '80s, uh, yes. Columbia Music commissioned a number of albums based on uh, Japanese animation television series soundtracks because that's a great way to make more money by re-recording uh, soundtracks in a different style for music you already own. Uh, they did a bunch of these with uh, very well-known at the time uh, electronic, uh, se uh, sequential electronic music musicians, uh, but they also did a series. Those were called the Jam Trip, or the series of Bit Trips. Jam Trip is the same concept applied to jazz musicians doing jazz covers of these old anime series, and the, the Macross album is spectacular mm. in terms of just how much of a shift they they took from the original just soundtracky music and turned it into just listenable jazz. That sounds rad. Yeah. Uh, I got one. Uh, as of maybe a week ago, bit bit over, um, there is a new Dirty Loops EP out. Um, and if you're a fan of notes, Duh. Dirty Loops <laughs> has you covered. Um, I remember you bringing this up last year. Yeah, they are good stuff. Phenomenally talented. Um, probably Henrik is probably one of the better bass players. Just period. <laughs> um, and one of the tracks on it is also a cover of Stevie Wonder's "Living for the City," um, which is one of my favorite Stevie Wonder tunes. Uh, and it's really, really, really good. I highly, highly recommend the new EP "Beagle" from Dirty Loops. Heck yes. Thank you, everyone, for suggesting some albums. Yeah. Uh, what I heard from that was a lot of people with good taste. 